Hi, this is Vladan from SX Virtualization Block. Today I'm going to show you the newly released Veeam Endpoint Backup, Installation, Configuration, Backup and Restore. How to do it. This video is about 5 minutes long. Few times it get accelerated because the full backup takes some time, but it worth looking. So now we need to set up the recovery media which allows us to boot the computer from the USB stick. Here we choose the destination on USB and uh, we will save some recovery media files, some recovery files. So basically it's a recovery environment which is which will make the USB stick bootable. So after booting on the USB stick you will be able to choose the recovery point to recover to. Okay, we now configuring the full backup. First we choose the the place where we want to store the backup and we choose the schedule and how many restore points how many days we want to keep as a restore points as you can see the video is quite accelerated very fast for a full backup right so next uh, I'm gonna show you the backup file it's the VIP file no, uh, not VIP. The other one. Check. VBK, VBK file. Now let's uh, copy some program just to make change to our system. So I can see I copy Putty software. And we do one incremental backup. The incremental backup is much faster and uh, once done we will uh, reboot the computer with the USB stick inside so the computer will boot on the USB and um, we will be able to choose a restore point we want now we have two restore points. You can see we have two files, one incremental and one full backup. Okay. Fine. Now we can uh, reboot reboot. Uh, I'm using VMware Workstation just to simulate and change the boot order and I can record the screen as well much more easier so as you can see we are now in the Veeam recovery environment we have some icons and we choose the first one and we choose the full backup the free one we've done so we will actually find the computer clean nice and clean Here again I accelerated the video because it takes some time to recover of course. So now restart the computer and we are back again.
the system should boot and uh, we shouldn't see any programs installed in the system oops I need to put on my password the full restore is very useful when for example your computer get damaged by a virus or malware and uh, you want to go back and the restore or to a point where the system was clean you know so this is it thanks for watching bye bye